Shall we not have schools to teach men the way to feed, clothe, and enlighten the great brotherhood of man? Pass this measure, and we shall have done something to enable the farmer to raise two blades of grass instead of one, something for every owner of land, something for all who desire to own land, something for every man who loves intelligence and not ignorance. Those words were spoken 150 years ago by then U.S. Representative Justin Morrill of Vermont. He was trying to convince his fellow lawmakers to pass an act which would become the backbone of the American system of public higher education as we know it today. What the land-grant mission does is connects this university to this state and the people in the state. For example, the University of Wyoming has an extension office in every county and on the Wind River Reservation. So this is a way to link the expertise of the university with the needs of the people and obviously vice versa to find out for the university what the people need. If we did not have that capability for the University of Wyoming and, and a lot of what they offer today in terms of outreach, if that wasn't there, the custom and culture of our communities would not be what it is today. It's been important to us to be able to manage our production, our, our livestock operation, to where we are in a position when the time comes to turn the range over to the next generation. In the beginning, land-grant colleges focused on agriculture and engineering, but as times change, so did the university. For example, our need for more health care providers meant that the university joined a consortium called WAMI so that Wyoming students could go to medical school and then they could come back here and practice. And did you know that close to 30% of the student population never comes to campus? Nope, instead they learn where they live and work. Those are just two examples of how the Morrill Act has been modernized. And if you're watching this, you too have been touched by the land-grant mission. It made us relevant and connected to the state in a way that permeates everything we do. It isn't really possible to talk about how it affects us because it's who we are.